Anyone familiar only with the early chapters of the book of Acts would surely freeze in shock at the first word of each of the epistles under examination. Paul? The Paul trained by the great rabbinical scholar Gamaliel? The Paul handpicked by the Jewish Sanhedrin to eradicate the name of Jesus from the face of the earth? The one who carried papers in his briefcase that gave him authority to chase down Christians, run them through a kangaroo court, and then smash the life out of them at the city gate? That Paul? Yes, that one. It is an understatement when Paul calls himself the chief of sinners and less than the least of all saints. In fact, he explained that he was intercepted on the Damascus Road, ambushed by love, so that no one would ever despair of salvation. If God could save this Pharisee of the Pharisees, he could save anyone. Of course, due to his remarkable background, he was certainly an ideal vessel for this task once grace had made him a new creation in Christ. Master of the Greek language, groomed in a strict Hebrew home, and a possessor of Roman citizenship, Paul was also a true son of Benjamin, the tribe prepared to go it alone in battle against the other 11 tribes. He would need all his metal, linked with divine power, to stand in the evil day. At the end of his career for Christ, spending and being spent, he could truthfully write, I have fought the good fight, I have finished the race, I have kept the faith. In studying Paul's epistles, we mustn't assume that they all have the same objectives. Each is carefully crafted by the Holy Spirit, each with a particular goal for the blessing and advancement of the saints. Romans is the treatise on the righteousness of God and how God can declare and then actually make believers righteous. First and Second Corinthians are the charter of local church life, showing the before and after of obedience to the Lord. Galatians proves that pure grace is the foundation of our relationship with God. Ephesians is a portrait of the whole church and the amazing link we have with the persons in the Godhead. Philippians shows us the secret of joyful overcoming in the circumstances of life, while Colossians insists on giving Christ the place in everything. The Thessalonian epistles are Paul's first aid kit for new believers, and the letters to Timothy and Titus provide training in shepherd care for God's people. Finally, the little book of Philemon gives us a template for dignified and compassionate relationships between believers. And that's our scripture snapshot on the epistles of Paul.